Arthur, and I'm going to show you how to draw the sunset um, near the ocean. So, um, when we start right here, at the very end of the paper, make sure your line is very straight. Um, and after this, we're going to do the coloring. Um, and yes, so uh, next, let's add the sun. So, um, so maybe we should start here. Uh, right here. And now, let's curve it up. You can do it as big as you want. It's a sunset. Is it okay if you miss a line? Um, yeah, that won't really matter. Um, so now we have to draw the boat. So, um, let's angle it here. Um, and let's draw a diagonal line um and now let's draw kind of like a banana shape okay and now let's draw a pool here and here kind of triangle uh, here we go. Um, you don't need to draw people at all. Um, and it doesn't matter how many um how many you do. So I'll think I'll draw um three. So maybe I have to draw at the corner. So, banana shape. And that. And then, maybe mine was a little too angled up. Um, yeah, that's okay. I have, you know, mistakes are okay. So, next. Um... Let's uh, maybe draw the shore. Kind of wiggly, you know. Doesn't matter. Um, and that is on the sunset, but first we need to do the coloring. So now let's do the painting. So I am going to use uh, some uh, blue and some orange, some red, um, some a little bit of yellow, um, and I'm gonna need some white, um, and kind of a tannish kind of color. Okay, so I have all the colors now. So, um, now let's get the, so, you know, that's, and I said that, um, I would be using yellow and some other colors. Um, so first I'm gonna show you the stripes. Um, uh, so I have different colors, so let's use lemon yellow. So let's put that on this side. So let's put some of this Lemon, yellow, 
and the thing. So we're not going to need that much. Um, okay, that's enough. Um, now we're going to need, um, well, first we have enough yellow, so let's put that on the side, and later we might need it. Um, Crimson Red Lake. Um, yeah, and, and, um, you don't have to use paint, you can use any color you want, but these are the colors I'm going to use, um, these are the colors for, like, a reality sunset, um, okay, we have some red, Maybe that's a little bit too much. Okay. Um, so let's put that off to the side. And we're going to need some blue. So, um, yes. Um, uh, here you go. Right here. Um, and okay. Let's put that in. Okay. Blue. Um, now we're gonna need some white for like the waves. Um, let's put that out to the side. <coughs> so, um, we need like clear white, not like this type of plain kind of thing, paper. Bright white. Um and it and you can also use like markers, but then you won't be able to like blend the things so it and it'll look Yeah, it won't look as realistic, but that's okay. Uh yellow so let's, I mean white so let's put that on the side um now we should take out the orange well red orange um and make sure these don't have any colors with them then it will just not look that look so good. Okay. Um, and we're also gonna need stuff for the sand. So here we put it. Um. And I think that might be it okay so i am gonna have different sizes of brushes but um right now let's start off with maybe a thin brush um or yeah thin brush so we can paint um, this and this. Okay. Um, and um, and let's get started. So um, this should be how thin your brush should be. We're gonna use different brushes later. So first dip it up in the water a little bit and let's start off with the two boats. So um, let's start with the flag of the boat. So I'm going to do one flag blue, one flag red, um, 
and rinse out so it doesn't get together. Um, now, let's get out some of the red. And I'm going to put too much red on my brush. That's okay. Um, now, let um, do um, the boat part. So, let's use kind of a sandy color. It's okay if they smudge up a little bit, but try not to. And you can just wipe it on here if you have too much. Okay. So maybe I chose too bright of a color. But mistakes are okay. Um, so, yep. Here is the... Um, Boat, boats. Um. Now maybe we should do um the ocean. So we're gonna need blue for that. Um. Yeah. Um. So we're gonna use um a very uh, big brush for most of the ocean, not very big, maybe maybe this should be the right size. Um, yes. So let's dip it in the water. Um, and let's get out some of the blue. So, um, let's start off in the middle. So, um, these are wet, so you want to go carefully around the boats. Just give you touch it a little bit. Does it really matter? Doesn't matter if you do a mistake too. Mistake is an opportunity to learn. So um so maybe leave a box kind of around it and just like on it. Um, at the, when we go into it, we're going to use a way thinner brush. Maybe not way, but like a thinner brush. And if it ever gets too dry, just wipe out your brush in the water a little bit and then dip it back in. Um, you can use watercolor. I'm not really. I'm using watercolor. Um. Uh, so. Yes. Um. That's my. Um. Ocean so far. Um. Oh, uh, there's another thing there. So maybe let's put another box around it, make sure we get into it with um, a thinner brush. It's okay if you run out of blue, you can just um, get a little bit more. After that, and just fill it in. And if you feel like this is like too dark and that's too light or something, it's just gonna they're gonna dry on so then they'll be the same um value. Okay. 
Um, we're almost done. Um, after this, we're going to do uh, the sky and the sun. The last part we're going to do is the sand. The sun and the sky is going to be the best part. And I maybe the hardest, actually. And we're going to add the white to the, um, the, um, blue, um, after it's completely dry. Um, so, yeah. Let's go back to the painting. I should have been just thinking while I was talking about this, okay? Um... And the last part we're going to do is the sand. Okay. So, um, now we are done. And if you go into a little bit of the sky like I did right there, it doesn't matter. We might be, we're going to be able to cover it up if it's going to be dry after that. And if it doesn't dry off and you can't cover it, that's okay. Um, let's dip it in the brush. Okay, so, now let's get into, um, the, um, the, around the bones. Yes. Um, let's, so let's use that, let's go back to the thin brush, like this. Okay, um, so, we only have a little bit, I only have a little bit of blue left, it's okay, we're just not going to really use it. Okay, so go carefully around the brush, I mean the boat. <coughs> so, um, yeah. Um, and here you go. Right now you can do it freely. I need to read them. But this part doesn't really matter because you're going over something blue. Well, that doesn't really matter. Go for that part. This part does. Um, okay. So, we're done with the ocean. Not completely. We're going to add like the little bit of waves. Um, but that's like, going to be at the very, very end of this um, video tutorial. Um, so now we're gonna go to the sun. So, um, let's get out our big brush. Uh, like, maybe, uh, I don't know. Maybe, um, this kind of. This might be the right amount of thickness. Doesn't matter. It it, it, it doesn't matter if it, it doesn't have to be exactly this, but it should be roughly this thick. Um. So the bottom is gonna be um red. Um. Really red. Um. So, um, here we go. Okay. Um, 
Um, so let's dip it in the pot. And maybe the hole might be not that big. That big. So you can... Okay. So this is what you should do. If you think it's too thick, um, just use a different brush. Or if you think it's too, um, it's, it's, it's not that thick, it should be a little bit more thick. You can do that. But don't do like a very thin brush. And it's okay if you get on your sun. That will be covered up. Um, so, do that again, and after, um, you should, after this video, after you, the brushes are dirty and stuff like that, maybe you, you should wash them after, um, some colors I might not use, as I said, so, um, so if that happens, that's okay. So, um, maybe I went a little too high. Okay. Yeah, I think I went too high. That's okay. I'm going to wait for that to dry. All right, let's see if that's dry. Okay, that's not really that dry. Um, so, um, now maybe a little bit, let's now get to our, um, orange maybe, orange color. And um, this paper is kind of flimsy. That's okay. Um. Here we go. Now, get some more. Okay, that was. Okay, so, um, maybe it's a little too red, so, um, that's, uh, but we're going to, like, make it lighter at, um, after we, I wait for this to dry. Okay, um. Uh, it's not completely dry yet, um, but I decided maybe um, to um, put uh, um, the whites to this, actually. Yeah. Um, okay. Are my white? So, um, we have the white spots. I actually decided that also that actually we should continue. So, um, um, 
let's go to It won't look um, completely real. That would be really hard. Um, oh, okay. This I might use here. Paper is getting flimsy. <coughs> okay. So, not as good as I thought it would be. Too red. Um, so, uh, to make it look more realistic, let's add a light layer. Light yellow. Okay, that that's not very neat. That that actually should be completely yellow. Okay, um, maybe I'm getting a little bit too, okay, yep, um, I should have waited, um, maybe I should get a, a towel, um, and if that ever happens, um, just, uh, get a paper towel. So I should move it out a little bit. Um, um, so maybe also wipe it out with a brush. Then it's going to get smoother and it will look nice, actually. And with that, I'm going to put that away. Now let's get to our medium crush on um, and let's get our regular orange it's kind of messy now but after that it's gonna actually look really really nice they're gonna blend in together and um and hopefully these little pieces of paint will go away Right. So I have my orange now, and and I guess here we go. Um. So this one is my um tutorial so how to do a sunset with paint. Um, and bye, um, thank you for watching, and subscribe.